Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Akeisha. Now, on my channel, I try products for 5, 10, 14, and even 30 days, and I document my experience in my I Tried It series. And one of the I Tried It videos that I posted was me trying vitamin A and zinc for 30 days. If you haven't already seen the video, I will link it in the cards above as well as down in the description. Go ahead and check that out and then join us for this update. If this sounds like content that you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. And without further ado, Let's get on with the video. These are the two vitamins that I took. This is vitamin A from Life Brand at 10,000 UI, and this is zinc from Nature's Bounty at 50 milligrams, megagrams, whatever you want to call it, MG. And um, there was 100 tablets, 100 capsules in each of these bottles, and I've completely finished this. Now, I started taking, the, I keep, let me just put it down. I started taking these vitamins mid-November in 2019, and so three months would make it February. So as of March, I have not taken any of these vitamins whatsoever, and um, I'm done the 100 tablets. Part of the reason why I wanted to wait a while before filming an update is so I can see if they were long-lasting effects. Before I get into the specifics of the video, I do want to preface by saying I am not a nutritionist and I am not a dermatologist. I'm not licensed to tell you about your skin. I am just here to share my experience, my research, and how it has impacted me. And hopefully it can give you some ideas to become a jumping off point for your own research to try to find something for yourself as well. Um, I'm just gonna start with some of the FAQs. One of the questions that I got asked quite frequently was how many did I take? So I took one a day um, for each of them. So one vitamin A and one zinc tablet once a day. The dosage that I did end up taking was actually pretty high, uh, 50 milligrams megagrams, whatever you call this, 50 mgs is quite a lot. And um, I definitely think that you can get by using 30 mgs. And for this one, 10,000 UIs is like the limit to where like it's safe. Anywhere between 5,000 and 10,000, you, you'll be fine in that range taking these tablets and anywhere between 30 and 50 is fine as well. The next thing people were asking about was the nauseating effects. The reason why you're getting nauseous when you're taking these vitamins is because you're getting an influx. And when you have like that influx of vitamins in your body, it makes your stomach upset. Part of why I do want to emphasize or highlight the amount that I was taking or the amount that I would recommend taking is because there is such a thing as taking too much vitamins and in general if you're taking too much of a vitamin your body will kind of get rid of it like a waste but there is another point where you know you can have too much like you can not overdose but like you can have too much of the ingredient I don't want to scare you guys or anything but there's something called taking too much of it and when you are taking too much of it on a large quantities for an extended period of time you can experience nausea vomiting um stomach cramps you can also get um diarrhea, you can get headaches, you can even experience a loss of appetite. And so it, it is important to make sure that you're taking the proper amount. Um, this is with, with zinc and then with vitamin A, because vitamin A is actually uh, retinol, if you're taking too much of it, um, once again, you can get that dizziness, once again, you can experience nausea, headaches, and even a bit of dizziness. So you do want to be careful about how much you're taking. On that note, uh, I do want to turn to a comment that was left on my channel. And I thank this girl for leaving it there because it gave a lot of clarification. That's a lot of, you know, very mumble jumble words, but basically you have to look for the specific type of zinc. Um, and it's not that it's associated with a specific brand, but it's a specific like strain of zinc and vitamin A. So um, one thing you can definitely take is, as she mentioned, cod liver oil. And this is one that I had used for like years since I was little for other reasons, but I'm turning back to this one to take. This one has 2,500 compared to the 10,000 UI. So this is, it's better absorbed into the body. It doesn't have the highest quantity just like this does, but it will give you, um, it won't give you any type of nauseating feeling in your body as well. So this is one that I would recommend. Once again, it doesn't matter the brand as long as the quality of the ingredients are fine. And for the zincs themselves, if I would take this again, I would take 30 um, MGs, like I said before. So just be careful about that. Um, 
Another thing I have like on my notes on my phone, another thing that I want to mention, oh yes, people were asking if I experienced any purging using this. And so the short answer is no. Um, I'm definitely someone who talks a lot about purging. You can pretty much look at any of my I tried videos and I'm always talking about purging, but that's when you're applying something topically. The good thing about applying something internally applying so taking something internally is that you most likely will not experience any of that purging where purging comes into play it's because the cell turnover rate of your skin is being increased or whatever you're using to you know bring all the toxins to the surface as they say that is what's causing your skin to expel acne or anything on your face when you're taking something internally you're stopping that from even happening you're kind of dissolving the congestion and the the um, inflammation from within and that's going to prevent anything from even being deep in the pores that eventually come out so I did not experience any purging using these products I I think you know I even went through my period in the video you guys have seen like I went through my period which typically I break out a lot during that time and I didn't really break out too much even now it's been like 30 days since I stopped taking the vitamins and I can honestly say that I have not had any cystic acne whatsoever on my face so praise god because we have been praying for this you don't know how much I've been waiting to just break out like a regular human being with like one pimple on their face that honestly feels like a milestone for me but yes I have not experienced any purging and even till now I still don't get any cystic acne which that's partially why I wanted to wait so long before filming this video because I wanted to know if it was gonna stay or if it was gonna come back and so far it has not come back so after this hundred and thirty day experience I can say that I had no cystic acne during the time as well as after I can definitely say that it did not return. Um, I did actually see great results with this. I saw my skin becoming smoother and clearer and it just, there wasn't anything deep within my pores, which is amazing. I have experienced a lot of inflammation. I have combination oily skin, which tends to be very, very oily. For some reason though, during this period, if you guys have watched my videos, I've been talking a lot about how my skin was getting really, really dry. I don't know if it is specifically because I've introduced these two ingredients into my routine, but my skin started to get really dry. I know that they're supposed to obviously regulate inflammation and oil production and all that kind of stuff. It's all kind of jammed together. So it could be it was affecting the oil secretion of my oil glands it could be but once again I cannot say that this is causation I can't say that this caused my skin to get drier but I did experience a lot of dryness on my face um now alongside that I did notice that my skin got extremely sensitive even right now I have a rash all over my face as well as on my chest you guys can see it right now because I'm covering it up it's it's from a product that I had used in the past but for some reason it just did not react well with my skin. Um, once again, it could be the product itself, but I've used it before. So I can, I, I do believe this made my skin a little bit more sensitive. I will put some footage of like what it looks like. It's been about a week since I broke out in this rash or irritation all over my face and chest. And for the time being, I did not wear any makeup, but guys, I still go to work. I've mentioned before that I work at a financial institution. So even with all of this illness going around in the air, I still go to work. And so I, I do need to, not need to, but I do like to feel um, put together in a way that you don't get that put together when you're not wearing makeup. Don't at me, okay? So I completely stopped using all actives right now. I'm not, I haven't exfoliated my face in a whole week, which is a lot for me, but I just need time for my skin to heal. The nausea on that note that stopped after the first week taking the pills actually the, it kind of just went away I also take other pills for different reasons I have a very weak immune system just naturally I was born that way and I also have a blood defect called thalassemia it basically means that I'm severely deficient in iron and I'm borderline anemic at this point but um, so I do take like iron pills this is from nature's bounty this is 28 mg of iron this is to prevent 
prevent iron deficiency anemia. Um, so I do take this. This is something I've talked about in the previous video as well. But I also take multivitamins. These are the Centrum Multi Gummies for women. Um, the complete multivitamins, all that good stuff. So I do take these anyways just to keep my immune system up and running. And I just found that like adding two other pills into this already long roster with my cod liver oil, my multigrain, my hair, skin and nails with biotin because I'm trying to grow my hair out and then my iron to prevent my anemia. Um, it's just a lot to take. And I just feel like I just want to get something as simple, simple is better. If I can condense these two pills into one, I think it's better than me playing a nutritionist once again, if you're someone who doesn't have all these other issues <laughs> with your body, then you'll be fine taking them at the correct UI and correct MGs. Sure, you can do that. But um, I think it's megagrams. I think that's how you, I don't know. Anyways, but, um, and I think this will be fine, just these two pills if you don't have any other issues. But for me, it's just a lot to juggle in the day, uh, seeing as I only eat two meals a day. So yeah, <laughs> just naturally, I just eat very little. So um it's just, it's just a lot for me. And going forward, I will not be continuing to take these pills for that reason specifically. Where skincare is concerned, I do believe that I know quite a bit about skincare, but where the internal organs and body is concerned, I never really did good at biology. So I'd rather leave that to the nutritionists. And um, I've been reading a lot of my comments and people have been recommending flaxseed oil to me. I did try this. Um, a while back before this vitamin A and zinc, but I didn't really notice too much of a big difference, so I just kind of stopped using it. So essentially, I am going to make the conscious decision to not use these in the future um, for reasons that I've noted as well. Just like constant use of these, it's just a little too much for me. And although I've had great results, like like I said, I don't have any pimples anymore on my face. I don't have any cystic acne. I do believe that at this point, it's just kind of maintenance. And I would rather just get one thing that I can put into my routine rather than having like all these multitudes of vitamins. I remember seeing this article on Refinery29 like a while back. I think this was like early 2019 of a study they did comparing people with like acne prone skin and people with naturally clear skin and they found that there are certain vitamins that you know you're missing if you are um experiencing a lot of acne so it's really interesting to me to see like what you can do in terms of modifying your body whether it's you know topically whether it's internally something that you're taking or even just exercising and changing like the way your body is shaped and stuff like that reprogramming your brain like i'm really interested in that so i will be trying other things and um, for right now, our skin is looking good. I don't have any breakouts and I'm really, really happy with these results. I can definitely say that if you're someone who's struggling with mild to severe acne, this would be something I would recommend trying because it did actually clear my acne. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend using it for an extended period of time, but to zap it away, this will help. Do some research and, and figure out if it's good for you. Maybe talk to your dietitian, nutritionist, or even to your fam your, your personal doctor. Um, but yeah, I hope this covered some of the questions that you guys were asking. If you do have any more, just leave them down below and I'll be sure to do the best that I can. Click over here to see some of my previous videos and as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous because I will see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video. Bye.